I'm with the lovely uh, Uzbekistan uh, community here. Uh, as I was trying to sit down on here, the lady, this in nearly caught her fingers, <laughs> this one here. I knew she, she was in pain because she kept looking at her fingers and I felt so bad, you know, I was trying to help her. I said, no problem, normal, normal. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I just thought, how can that be normal? There she is. Let me see your fingers. <laughs> yeah, this one, it looks a bit swollen, but she say, oh, it's normal. In Uzbekistan, this is normal. It happens all the time. I just thought, I've got to go to Uzbekistan, because it's like, if you get your fingers caught on something and you lose your finger, don't worry, that's just normal. Ah, me drug, super, super drug. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Uzbekistan. Yeah, Uzbekistan, yes. Uh, Namia. Uh, uh, Zebut. Khalil. Khalil. Okay. Zevia. Zevia. And? Martuna. Martuna. Okay, Martuna. Maftuna. Maftuna. Oh, Maftuna, okay. Ogan. 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 Afghanistan. Oh, Ogan for Afghanistan. Charlie, Afghanistan, Nieto. Afghanistan, Nieto. No, Allah, Afghan, Nieto. We put it. We put it. Allah, Afghan, Nieto. Nieto. Oh. Vladivostok, Allah, Afghan. Oh. Hello. And Zebut? My name is Azad. <laughs> ah, he speaks English. That's yes. brilliant. Yes, yes. Uh, Azad, Azad. Asad Bek. Asad, Asad Bek. Asad Bek. That's Asad Bek. He speaks English, you know. Nah. I hope that finger is okay. Finger, finger, will I take it? Yes, you know. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> normal nieto. But oh, that's why. Normal, normal. normal. Mogocha, Mogocha, Stansi. Hello. Привет. Normal, normal, yes. Normal, yeah, yeah normal. Hello, kiddo. How are you? You okay? It's so oh, he's trying to dance. Malinky Michael Jackson. Yeah, 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 Malinky, yes. Yes, Malinky Michael Jackson. No, smoking. Yeah, smoking is a bit too much. Everybody's smoking. It's a smoking break. I'm walking with Elmira. Elmira is going home to Bikini to be with her husband. She is planning to have four kids. Chitiri dainty. Chitiri dainty. That's a lot by European standards. But she's she's just prepared. Said, well, I'm gonna have four kids. That's it. I don't care whatever you say. Is it a wonderful life? Yes, you're happy. Yes, it's a different life. Oh, what does this mean? Pe Pectopa. Uh, that means restaurant Pectopa. It has been a wonderful time traveling here and this is the station that we have arrived at. They really do love their trains. Russia relies a lot on trains. I think I understand why. The country is just so big. I don't know whether you guys can see me because it's pretty dark but the eye can see clearly. You can see all the people walking here. It's not as cold as some of my Russian friends have said. So oh, it's cold. It's gonna be Holodno. You're going to freeze. Nah. <laughs> Holodno near though, isn't it? Never believe what other people tell you. Take it with a pinch of salt. That's a big diesel engine there. Sound of machinery in the morning. Very long goods train. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, super. Super, right? Yeah, красиво. Uh-huh. Yeah, красиво. And Stance Namia? Abluchia. Oh, Abluchia, okay. Abluchia. А вот написано. Oh, Abluchia. And Ну и поселок называют тоже Abluchia. Oh, that's Abluchia as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Finally woken up. In Abluzia, that's the back of our train. As you can see, there's no engine on this side. So you're traveling with one engine and that's about it. They must really trust their machinery. If that engine dies, you're gonna wait for days for another one to arrive. Wow. It's a busy town. 
Let's check the name of this town. Time is now 17.30. Hello, cheers. Hello. Yeah, don't forget WhatsApp uh, photo. Uh -huh. Yes. Hello, uh -huh. Oh, it's. <laughs> Hello. Ta da. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. I woke up with sniffles. I don't know if I'm catching a cold or not. I haven't caught a cold in a long, long time. I guess this will be the first time in such a, a long time, seriously. Uh, According to that, it's like 22 degrees at the moment. And the time is 17.36. Busy town, always wait for the traffic lights to let you go. Otherwise, people don't like it. They don't say anything, they just look at you like, yeah, some idiot or some fool. Struggling here yeah, to find a supermarket. That lady said it's just behind that building. Some of the shops just look a bit quiet and too sad for me. Uh, it's written in Russian. I'm pretending to be able to read it and I can't read it. No getting married today. She can't go to that shop. Okay. Yeah. We couldn't find anything there. I'm not gonna go over there and keep wasting time. Hey, I can't read Russian, my dear. Paruski? Um, supermarket here? Magazine? Yeah, yum, yum, yum. Guess it? Ah, near though. Ah, guess it is too much. I guess I have to walk like 10 minutes to go to the supermarket. I think there's only one answer to that. Don't. Even KFC is elusive in this town or these towns. I thought McDonald's were in every corner. Not in this part of the world, I'm afraid. Huh. Hello. 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 Yeah, this Malinki. Small, yeah, Malinki. Very small. I feel so awake. I don't know if you can see the moon right up there. That's the moon right there. The whole town is asleep. And only the determined souls are roaming the streets just like me. It's now day six of our journey. I think now I'm left with just tomorrow night and I would have achieved what I set myself to achieve, which is covering 12,000 kilometers. And then I will be going back and covering another 10, making the whole journey 22,000 kilometers. On this journey, I hitchhike all the way from Tbilisi, Georgia, to Baku, Arasat, Azerbaijan, and finally to Russia, Derbent, Dagestan, all the way to Moscow, passing Elbrus, and then I got to Moscow and got on the amazing seven days train trip. Don't listen to whatever anybody say. It's definitely seven days, no shower. I don't know how many times I've, re I've repeated that. And that has been brilliant. It's been an amazing journey. I had a few sneeze and cough, but it wasn't flow. I think it was just because the season keeps changing because you're going through so many different time zones and the weather is different. Some place is very hot, some place is raining, some place extremely cold. So you're just going through all those emotions. Some place they stop one minute, two minutes, five minutes. 10 20 you know it's like your body is constantly uh, trying to adjust and when it's about to adjust things changes again so you can't really adjust to anything 
because everything is just so different. Many trains are passing by. When they stop for these 30 minutes or more, they are busy putting more water into the tanks for toileting, boilers, drinking water, more stocks for the shop. Because every carriage, every wagon, every car here has got a little shop. We can buy something there, but it's pretty expensive. But what can you do on such a long journey? It's like your own traveling restaurant or traveling hotel. Just listen. I love the sound of machinery. I think it's amazing, the sound of machinery at 4.40 in the morning. You can see the conductors, the Provodnik and Provodnits waving their lights. I think it's time to go in now. What a morning we're getting up to. This station will just jump off the train. More like a remote village. Oh, there's a little shop down there. Uh, this is a bit remote. Still traveling on this train. A good experience. Some towns are pretty remote, like this one surrounded by hills and less people. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. When it comes to things like this, then you miss Georgia because Georgia, you'll get hot bread anytime. Not really anytime from 10 in the morning when people get up. There's a little shop here. I love to explore. Let me see what's around the corner. This is the entire village, people. What's this? What's this one? Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> this has been a brilliant journey. I've really enjoyed it. Got sniffles and sneezing a bit. Apart from that, I'm okay. Can't complain, really. When you choose to do something, do it right. And if you can, do it perfectly. And I think I've done it right. I've done it the way I wanted. And I'm really chuffed with it. I'm very happy. That's the old Soviet machine there. As you can see the star resembling the Soviet Union. I wonder how many engines this has to keep changing. Oh, yeah, that, that's very old. That's an old machine, that. And that's my good friend there. Morning, my good friend. Hello, how are you this morning? Uh, yeah, man. Country, country, and so on. Yes, yes. And name? Name of little, this? Little, little, little man. Little. Oh, oh, a little, okay. Little city. Yes, yeah, 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 small city, yes. <laughs> and this is from Soviet time, yes? Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's engine depression. Soviet. Yeah. See you later, my friend. There are many dogs here. I've seen that one, Sabaka. My friend there uh, speaks very little English, you know, but it's good. It feels wonderful when you meet people who can speak English in a country where English is not that important. Russian is important here. I think it has to do with the, the influence of the Soviet Union, to be honest. And it's quite amazing because I'm like the odd one out, but I don't, I don't feel any different. So the security there, they always patrolling. Russia is strict, but it's good. It keeps the peace. In you know, such a big country, I think you need it. I've seen like six dogs in this little town alone. Many, many dogs. But one thing I don't understand in, in Russia, when you're traveling on this train, is that for this small town, the train stops longer for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And for where you have to go and see things, it stops for less. How does that work? Maybe I think I got the solution for that. You have to buy a different ticket to go just there. And if you do that, then the rail makes more money. This is the lady who said she's normal. Let me see. Normal. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh man, this is my friend's Uzbekistan community. Okay, normal. Okay. Hey, hockey players. Good luck. Hello, good luck, man. Good luck, yeah. Hockey playing, okay. Brothers. 
No. <laughs> no, okay, all right. <laughs> Hockey plane, Vladivostok? No. No. Ah, you said it's. Kazakhstan. Habarsk. Habarsk, okay. Next stancy? Next stancy? Yeah. Zavtra? Tomorrow. Tomorrow you win, you must win. Uh, Vitali Klitschko. Vitali Klitschko? Yeah, Vitali Klitschko. <laughs> 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 ah. Here we are again. Thank you. Super. Goodbye. Okay. Spasibo. Okay, we are back. We've been staying for a few days. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in the next video.